Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at how we could use a conditional flag in our script editor that can be later on called into our front end and we can call it in our set expressions. And I think this is super important because sometimes what happens is we want to tag certain rows with particular conditions. Let's say we just want to look at some countries or uh, something to do with dates and then we need to call that in our front end and use the set expression to say only show me values for this particular field so um, I'll, sh I'll show you what we are uh, what I'm talking about so first of all uh, let's just take an example I have customers I have customer ID here and let's say we want to look at one particular customer so let's just say cust one okay so this cust one let's call this as our main customer that we want to look at how, how do we do that so first let's create a flag here let's say let's use an if statement and just say that in case uh, we're looking at cust one here so let's say let's create a flag that can be called in our front end now, first of all, we can use flags for different things, year to date, um, previous year, for a majority of them where we need to select just certain lines, we create a flag for those lines. Now, here what we could do is we could say for customer ID, we could say if match customer ID as cust1 in that case we want it to type as main customer otherwise we want to say others and let's close this and let's give it as main customer flag comma all right so what are we saying here we're saying let's create a flag in case my customer is customer one and to make things even easier let's maybe add one more let's say we are creating a flag for customer one and customer two. I need to put them in yeah so every time the customer ID is one or two I'm gonna create a flag here and that flag is gonna say call it call them main customer otherwise um, they're called others now we could instead of having this as main customers let's just make it even more simpler and just put one and in this case let's say zero and so we should be creating a new field here with the field name main customer flag so let's load it so we are segregating two different customers into one particular um, flag and saying hey if the customer ID is one, our customer ID is two, then flag them as our main customer so that later on we can calculate how much are we actually selling to this main customer. So now it's loaded. Let's have a look here. And we see that we should have we should have a new flag here so now we have main customer look at it a little more carefully here we have customer id one and it's been flagged as one that's great that's exactly what we want and now let's go to the front end and here what we can do is now we could say i want to see the total sales but i only want to see it for our main customers so in case you're building a dashboard for let's say your distribution account manager who is only in charge of one account um he or she 
don't really need to see the total sales and then they need to go to customers and select the ones that they're interested in. Well, they can have that information directly, right? So what they can do is let's go create a new measure here. Let's go to measures. We have our total sales measures, um, but let's just create one. Um, let's main customer sales and let's go to our expression and our expression of total sales is nothing but sum of unit price times quantity but we don't want it to show all unit price and quantity instead we only want it to show for our main customer so we are going to put in a set expression here And we're going to say uh, we only want it when our when our main customer flag is equal to one. Right now, what what are we saying? We're saying, hey, I want to see the total sales. That's unit price into quantity, but only when the flag is actually one. So now let's say apply and we're going to apply it and we're going to go here. We're going to put the KPI here and we're going to say main customer sales. So now it's automatically calculating only for our main customer. It doesn't matter what selections are made since no selections are made here it would still aggregate it down only to our main customer that is only where our flag here is one and this is super important you can use it in multiple different ways by selecting particular fields here or your date functions um, and then calling it out like we did in our front end so i hope this was helpful um, I would really appreciate it if you left a like and uh, subscribed to the channel and stay tuned for more. Have a good one. Cheers.